Hello students from Coachwood and students from Spears Point Public School. Mr. Bouquet is back for the second part of our science experiment video. We were asking the question, how do plants absorb water? And we set up a little experiment where we put some celery, that's the plant we're studying, into some cups that had different types of water or no water at all. And hopefully you can clearly see there's a difference between the celery that had water, which is the red one here, and the celery that didn't have water. Okay, you can see it's a different colour, it's bending slightly over, and the leaves are a bit shriveled. So the water is doing something to keep the plant alive. Now, you'll also notice that the one in the green, it didn't fare very well either. It's looking a bit shriveled compared to the other ones. Now, this was a bit of a surprise result. I didn't expect one of the celeries to get shriveled while the other ones are okay. Maybe it's because when I ripped this celery off the stalk, maybe I ripped it in the wrong spot. I don't know, that is my scientific prediction. That's my guess why this one's a bit shriveled and the other ones aren't. And hopefully the other thing that you can see is that the celery, the colour of the water got absorbed into the celery. Now, I haven't been able to see the results um, with the pink one and with the yellow one, um, it's not very, it's not a very bright colour and I can't really see a result from these ones. The green one, you can see it, it's a bit difficult because this one's slightly dying and because celery is green already, but hopefully you can see it in the red one. So at the top of the leaf here, you can see that there's the red colour coming into the leaf. Or at the very top of this bit here in the celery, hopefully you can see the red colour coming through. And hopefully this shows that the celery, the plant, is absorbing the water. Because we can actually see the red colour coming through, and we know that celery isn't naturally red. Now, I would like to know, how did your experiment go at home? I know a few people in my class tried the experiment for themselves. Some of their celery didn't have the leaves on the top, so it might be hard to see a result. But if you did the experiment at home, can you please show me a photo? Okay, thank you very much for watching and participating in an online science lesson. I hope you're having fun enjoying your home learning and I'll see you next time.